Happy Frugal Friday, friends. Today I'm sharing 11 things I don't buy, I don't spend money on, or I have drastically reduced. Number one is multiple phone cases. I only keep one cell phone case at a time and I like to run it into the ground. As long as it's protecting my phone, I am cool with just having one. So instead of having certain ones to go with this season or this vibe or this outfit, some people really know how to color coordinate. I don't do any of that. I just have one cell phone case at a time until I run it in the ground until I absolutely need another one. The number two thing that I don't buy is shoes I can't walk in. Ladies, that ship has sailed. <laughs> do you remember the days of getting uncomfortable shoes so that you can look really great in them and want to die by the end of the night because you can hardly walk? Mm-mm. It's over. Those days are done. I only get shoes that are comfortable for me and that I can actually wear and not want to cut my feet off by the end of the evening. Number three is meal delivery subscriptions. I contemplated this briefly. And uh, if you guys have done it, can you let me know in the comments? Have you done this? Have you done any of these meal delivery services? I have gotten coupons to try and people have reached out for me to do it. And honestly, I'm just not that interested. And you guys know I'm not like Chef Kate or anything like that. So this would probably make sense in general. But honestly, if I'm gonna have something delivered, I want it cooked already. I just personally feel like I can get that stuff at the grocery store while I'm there already. I am going to the grocery store anyway and I don't think I wanna pay extra to have meals delivered to my house that aren't even ready to go, then I gotta put in the effort. <laughs> I don't know, me personally, I'm not gonna spend my money on meal delivery subscriptions that I'm gonna have to prepare myself anyway. I don't know, just not interested. Number four is air fresheners. I feel like back when I was a kid, like Glade and aerosol fresheners were like all the rage, but as I've gotten older, I will burn candles. I love to burn candles. I do essential oils. I have a essential oil diffuser, so I do that sometimes. But as far as like Febrezing the house or Glade Air for all the aerosol stuff, um, I've stopped doing that. If somebody were to, you know, give it to me as a gift, maybe I would maybe use it up, but I just, I, I don't personally, put that on the shopping list. I don't ever reach for air fresheners in the store anymore and use that in my home. Number five is pet toys. Okay, so I've got two cats, as you guys know, Buns and Mr. Hannum. And when I'm at the store, often I will be looking to get cat food and litter and I'll look and I'm like, ooh, maybe they'd really like that. And every time I've ever bought a cat toy, maybe they're interested in it for a day, maybe. And sometimes they're, they just kind of look at me like, really Kate, I'm not doing that. And so spending money on cat toys, like they would probably be just as happy <laughs> with me dragging a string that I have in the house along or Buns loves to chase uh, a bottle cap. <laughs> he will go nuts chasing a bottle cap. That cat is crazy, he's crazy for bottle caps. He, he could play with that all day long. So I no longer spend the money on cat toys because A, they're kind of pricey and B, they're not gonna use them anyway. Number six, and it kind of pains me to say this, but excessive gifts. If you've been watching me for a long time, you know gifting is a love language of mine. However, I've recently come to grips with the fact that I think, well, you guys know that even in the last couple of years, I've gotten better with this. But like right now, Caden's birthday is coming and I am struggling, struggling to think of things that he would love and actually use. And he and I have talked about it a lot and he wants Robux because he plays Roblox, right? That's like his favorite game. He wants Robux to use for Roblox. 
which in many ways to me feels like a complete waste of money. However, it brings him lots of joy. Like if he gets a Roblox gift card, he is thrilled because he gets to do, you know, some advantages in the game or some accessories he gets to add. It's like he is super excited. So when somebody really gets excited about something, it isn't money wasted, right? So there is that that I know he wants. But clothing, uh, there's a couple items that I've thought about particularly, but as far, he doesn't want any toys. He's not going to play with any toys anymore. He doesn't take dinosaurs like he used to or, or to like he doesn't play with toys. We'll play games, we'll do something like that, but even that, we have plenty of that, we have plenty of puzzles. I, I've been thinking a lot about this and there's not a lot of stuff that he needs and so I've just, I'm just gonna be really strategic in gift giving and not, I could, there's many things I could get him, but I'm not gonna just buy stuff to put in his closet and never use again. I'm not doing it anymore. And the same goes for my family for Christmas. I've really been thinking about this. I don't wanna buy them things they're not gonna use. So I, think about it yourself, right? Would you rather get this nicely wrapped box, one box with something you open up, it's the, the presentation's great, right? You open it up and it's something you love. Or would you like four or five things that you open, it's fun to open them, but you don't really care about any of the things. You're not gonna really, you're just gonna throw it in your closet, throw it in a drawer. I'm really trying to be very intentional going forward, what I give people to enhance their life, bring them joy, and things that they're really gonna get value out of. And not just waste money and time getting obligatory gifts that they don't care about. So this is something I'm really trying to work on. Number seven is smoothies. Oh my goodness, when I used to live in Florida, smoothies were all the rage. Are smoothies a thing where you are? Here in Maine, people don't go as bonkers for it and there's not as many places, but in Florida, everywhere you went, somebody was getting a smoothie. There was Planet Smoothie, there was Smoothie King, there was, I mean, like, like endless smoothie places and that was like a big deal. You go to the gym, then you get a smoothie. Uh, oh, you we're all out. You guys want to go get a smoothie? Like smoothie, 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 smoothies. But here, it's not such a big deal. And if I want a smoothie, I just make it at home. Number eight is excessive mugs. I love coffee. You guys know this. I love coffee. I drink it literally every day. My favorite mug you guys have seen is my red one that says it's good to be queen. For me, it's the perfect size, it's the perfect weight, it's the perfect mug. And when that mug dies, I'm gonna be very sad. I had a mug a while ago that I used to use all the time and one day I was rushing out the door, grabbed my purse, twisted, and it smashed on the floor. This was at my old house. And Kaden was like, because <gasps> we both knew like that was my mug. One of my mugs. The red one has still been like number one, but this was like another favorite one and it smashed to the ground and I just thought, oh my gosh. And I've said to Kate and I said, the day this mug dies, I'm gonna be really sad, my red one. So anyway, that's the one that I choose to use all the time. And if I had a hundred mugs in front of me, like that's the one I always go to. So I'm trying not to buy excessive amounts of mugs. Of course I have extra mugs for when people come over for coffee, but truthfully, that is my preferred mug and I prefer to use it as much as humanly possible because it's my favorite one. So I don't want to have a bunch of mugs that I'm just going to have sitting there that I'm not going to use until that mug bites the dust and I need to get another one. Number nine is lottery tickets. Does anybody buy lottery tickets? That has never really been a thing that I spent money on, but it's something, you know, you think about it like, well, you're not going to win unless there's at least a chance if you do it, right? But honestly, I don't spend money on lottery tickets. Let me know in the comments. Do you get lottery tickets? Do you get a lot of lottery tickets? <laughs> or do you not buy any lottery tickets? Let me know in the comments. Number 10 is craft supplies. I don't craft, <laughs> okay? I am not a DIY kind of gal. And I've told you this before. But I think in the past, there's been times where I'm like, oh, well, maybe I'll do this if I get this and this and this. And then guess what? It just sits there and collects dust. I never use it. And you think like, oh, well, I'm gonna use it at some point. Nope, I'm not. 
I'm not a crafty girl in that respect. I am creative choreographically, maybe video wise once in a while, but as far as like crafts, like crafting, I suck. And I'm not gonna spend money on making things that suck. And it doesn't like move me. Like some people like, oh, I'm gonna create this. And I, that, I have no feelings about it. <laughs> and people are like, oh, well you should try. I don't wanna try. I'm not interested, not a crafter, no interest. Number 11 is, this sounds weird maybe, but storage containers, like large storage containers. Look, I'm gonna tell you the truth. If I put something in a storage container, it's basically where it's going to never be seen again. The only exception is Christmas decorations. I do have some containers for my holiday decor, which is not excessive either. But my, my mom has said, you know, oh, you should really get these containers and put, uh, you know, seasonal clothing and all that. And she might be right, but in my experience, if something goes into a large storage container and I put it away somewhere, chances are I'm not looking at it again until the next move, honestly. I don't know why that is. I try to keep things on shelves where I can see them. I have to see it. If I don't see it right now in my closet downstairs, there's a couple bins, no idea what's in them. No idea. I'm trying to, real, no idea. <laughs> I really don't know. If I can't see it, I don't think about it. Out of sight, out of mind, heck yeah. So for me, buying those containers, and I guess you could get the clear ones. You could get clear containers and still see it. But if they start getting stacked and I can't, access them easily, I'm not gonna go for them. I'm not even gonna pay any attention to them and I'm gonna forget that I even have them and I probably won't go through them often. And again, if I have to be putting things in storage besides like the decor, which obviously makes sense, that's like annually, but I don't wanna have a lot of stuff that I can only use a little bit of the year. That's just me. So I don't buy storage containers cause that's where things go to disappear. Now is your turn. Please let me know in the comments one thing you no longer buy. And if you liked this list, I will leave another video right here for you to watch with, I think it's 58 things I no longer buy if you like this kind of content. And if you do like this kind of content, please hit the thumbs up. Please hit subscribe so that you don't miss a video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.